you are someone you know strongly likes, appreciates, supports, or is interested in someone or something, then by definition, you or that someone you know is a fanatic or a fan. That's it. That's the video. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. From my experience when talking about sports fans, there are four different types. You got your loyal fans, your city fans, your diehard fans, your bandwagon fans, and those that care nothing about sports, but technically you're a fan of something, so there's that. Now some of these fan types can cross, like you can be a city fan and a loyal fan at the same time. Usually with most fans, there's also a reason as to why they like their team in the first place. It might be because of their family, where they live, a specific athlete, or just because the team kept winning. Either way, based off of that, you may be surprised when I tell you that I am a fan of the Denver Broncos, even though I live here, grew up here, and no one in my family are fans of them. However, my parents named me after Terrell Davis, and by the time I understood what football was and learned what the NFL was and all that kind of stuff, he was playing for the Broncos. Now, in my opinion, one of the best things about following a sports team is that you have their away games. And so that means you have the opportunity to travel to places that you've never been before. So let's take the Denver Broncos. They're located in Denver, Colorado. But if I were to go to every game from the 2022 season, I would end up in all of these cities right here. But because I consider myself to be a loyal fan, I wanted my first NFL game to be in Denver, Colorado at the Broncos home stadium, even though I'm closer to the Carolina Panthers in Charlotte, but I just didn't want to do that because I wanted to go to the Broncos stadium in Denver, Colorado. So that meant that we went to Colorado for the first time. Clearly we had a good time if you couldn't tell, but I mean, it's, we barely even scratched the surface of what Colorado has to offer, but let's get right back to the Broncos. Imagine that you've been waiting to see your favorite music artist live or a specific landmark in person or that one thing that would just bring you so much joy. I don't see it. I see it, Abigail! Oh. <laughs> it's genuinely how I felt when I saw the stadium for the first time and when it was game day, I felt like I was at Disney World. Now, I may not have shown it, but I had like that Rugrats Angelica smile going on and inside, like I was so happy. I can't even explain how happy I was. As we went through all of the different things like tailgating and the team shop, it was time to see the field for the first time. I legit almost cried happy tears. This moment right here, I was saying, keep it together, really. You got this, keep it together. Everything was amazing to me. The planes flying over during the national anthem, being surrounded by other Broncos fans and even the Jets fans. At the Broncos stadium, whenever the opposing team throws an incomplete pass, the announcer comes over the intercom and says something like, that pass was, and then the whole crowd goes like this. And they've been doing that for years and I've just, uh, I just, I just always wanted to do that when it was just amazing to be able to do it. The coolest thing was at halftime. Members of the 1998 Broncos team was there. Why is that important? Well, they were the team that won the Broncos first Super Bowl. And who was the MVP of that game? This guy, the one I mentioned earlier. I didn't know they were gonna be there. And after the presentation, some of the players walked towards my section and brought the Lombardi trophy, which is the Super Bowl trophy. And unfortunately, the Broncos ended up losing 16 to nine, but that's not the point. The point is I had a good time and checked off another item off of my bucket list and I got to explore a new place with Abigail. Well, thanks for certain. I will be back in Colorado. I don't know when, but if you live in Colorado, hit me up. Thumbs up, Bell. Hope you and the fam are doing well.